Hi there, Chris here, and are you all ready for round two? Oh, jeez, almost broke all my stuff. <laughs> getting too excited. Getting excited because getting close to finishing, assembling this model. Really looking forward. I had a game a while back, proxied it. I used my uh, Phoenix Bomber as the Hemlock. Got re rocked right away, but going to have the model now, and so... It's gonna be lots of fun, I think. It's a pretty looking model. I wasn't huge on these models when I first saw them and like when they were like leaked before. I wasn't, I know I wasn't jazzed up about them. And so, yeah, I don't, bleh. So, got this guy. We didn't do the little post game thing or the post, post vlog. I don't know. Because I don't know if you can see well, I'll I'll zoom on it, zoom in on it in a moment. Got them painted, and I'm not entirely happy with how because I wanted it to kind of appear like light is hitting the model, like as if, you know he's in his cockpit and the, the lights from his screen are kind of illuminating. I think I overdid it a bit on like his head and stuff. I'll show you guys in a sec, but most of the beating, whether or not. I should leave <clears throat> leave the wings uh, like clip most of it leave the wing just attached by these two points here clear these areas <sighs> dusty already and glue the bits on like assemble it essentially but leave it attached to the sprue so that I can sp so I can prime it get it ready and then glue everything onto the model I'm not too sure if that's the way to go because I'm hitting the point now where I still have like the two halves of the plane and I'm thinking I have to prime that first and start laying the base color down and so I'm thinking well while, well, while I'm doing that you know get the wings prime them up get them base colored and then glue everything together and it should be easy to go and most of the work is already done right <clears throat> and so what I have planned for for this guy I don't know if I want to tell you guys quite yet because I haven't actually gotten to the painting part of it but I am I, it's going to be colored in the Samhan colors but this thing is supposed to cause terror and psychic and so it's 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 a different kind of model right and I'm thinking uh, it needs a different kind of paint treatment. Not, not in, you know, like doing anything funny with the paint other than painting something really kind of cool for it. But keeping with the Sam Han look and feel. So I want it to still be a part of my army, but its paint job will distinguish it as the model it is. And so I'll let you mull over that. And yeah, so, I don't know. I guess I can show you guys everything else. So yeah, let me set this back up again. This thing reads like stereo instructions. Hey! <clears throat> so, the plane itself. The plane. As you can see, he kind of has that little loop here. Let's zoom in a little bit here for everybody. Okay, zooming in. There we go, optimized. Now you can see here how, you know, I wanted that look of his screen is glowing, but I did everything in the grays, right? Because, see here, he's all gray. But see, there's just too much on his head. And so I think I have to come in and create some more shadow on top of his head just to, you know, bring a bit of that back, I think. Darn autofocus. Turn that off. There we go. And focus. There we go. All right. We're back to normal again. <clears throat> With the canopy on, though, it looks pretty snazzy, right? <clears throat> so you'll imagine you'll all be red. So the bottom half has already been primed in black. I'll probably give it just a bit of highlight. I don't think it'll be too much. Crap, it's already digging. 
I already dinged it. People moving my stuff around, I think. I'm gonna blame Owen. And, yeah, so I think I'm gonna have to pull that back a bit. Because it's just a little too bright. I don't know. I was also thinking of giving it a, um, a bright silver treatment on his face. Just just so that it's, you know, different from his face. He's got, like, maybe some sort of reflective mask. He is supposed to be a psychic. I don't know. But otherwise, you know, just it purely relying on the tint of the glass to pull off the interior effect. Not really going to paint the interior too much. Like, I'm going to do something nice for this guy, but I'm not, you know, I'm not going to go crazy on, on the painting of him. And so with the wings, I'm thinking of cutting it away from these points, leaving it just attached on the bottom here, and then, you know, gluing on these other details, these things, and he's got the other little doodad that goes on there. I don't know. I'm thinking that's the best way to go because I, because I can prime it and then base coat it and be done with it. Um, then the other thing is, what should I do with these wing bits? Because I've got like three little wing bits that are going to be on this model. Actually, do I need these? I don't even think I need these bits too. No, these are little interesting little doodads as well. Plus two, I've got the little gun barrels and the extra little dooder's head. I don't know. I don't really think I can do much with that. Maybe a Dire Avenger. You know how the Dire Avenger Exarch? The head crest comes in behind, but it's separated from the head. I wonder if we could use that with the Dire Avenger. Wouldn't that make an interesting little conversion? That'd be interesting, actually. Now, now that I think of it, you guys can't steal my idea either. <laughs> so the wings, what do you think? Something to do with those wings. Put them on a Falcon Grav tank. Put them on a Viper. Viper would be kind of interesting. Look kind of crazy, right? An Autarx jet bike. These bits, right here. The way that comes down, do that on a jet bike. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Something fun. Or should I just hang on to them until I get another plane and then give it about 20 different wings? <laughs> okay. Let's get to work. Let me fix this again. Zoom back out. Give you guys a full view of my messy work area. See, it's lost. Nice, eh? See, I got one of these little duders. That's what I think a Wraith Lord, or Wraith Guard, sounds like. Yeah, I'm cracking up. It's a little bit, uh, it's getting a little late. I'm gonna try and get some work done here. Okay, let's do something.
Alrighty kids, half time. I already cut these pieces off. That's the last two pieces, then pretty much everything can be glued together. And so these guys, oh, there's bits of plastic everywhere. Oh, look at this. Ooh, piece of camera. Okay. So the wings. Can these well uh, I'm not really asking you guys per se, but these wings, oh no, they are kind of keyed that way. I just wanted to see if it was possible to glue these into place, you know, and then I could spray this entire top half separately and then glue the two halves together. But I don't think so. I think my initial suspicion is correct. I'm going to have to do this the slow and painful way. Well, you know, it's not painful. It's lots of fun, but... Now, where the heck does that go? See, we're getting into the fun stuff now. Because now we're getting to the point where, does Chris mess this up? <laughs> Is Chris gonna mess this up? And you know what? The night's young. I still could. I can't put this in next. Screws on there. <clears throat> Whenever you're assembling models, you should always, always test fit. Cut pieces out, test fit. Then when you're about to glue, test fit again. Three times, it's, it's, it's like carpentry. You measure three times, cut once, right? Well, same thing when you're building with your models. Measure three times and then glue once, right? Because if you do it right the, the first time, you don't have to go back and glue it again. Short of breaking, of course, but I digress. Uh, choices. No, I think I'm gonna stick with my original plan. I'm gonna prime these up. Ooh, bit of schmutz everywhere. What the heck is that? So, yeah, I'm gonna have to do it that way, I think. I think that's the way it's gonna have to go. Have to spray all these bits together. Maybe I'll fix that head first, and then re-fix this stuff. And I missed a little spot over here, anyway, on the vents. Oh, another spot over there too. I don't know. I think these wings need to be black as well. Or do you think they could be separated like that? See how it's like if I sprayed it gray, you know, and then put the red down. I don't know. Let's give it a shot, anyway. So let's go.
So, just finished spring. Oh, jeez, Louise. Oh, I just didn't that up too, didn't I? Oh, well, I'm gonna have to go over them again anyway. This was just to get the basic color down. And so, as you may have noticed, I was spraying Vallejo Red. Now, I completely forgot that we're not supposed to be spraying this color. Uh, reason being because of the cadmium. Uh, cadmium is in a lot of red paint, acrylic and oil and everything like that. So, oh, hey, look at that. I got these pieces all over sprayed. Oops, gonna have to do those over again too. Jeez Louise, I need a bigger working area, I think, for airbrushing. And so, I think that's it for now. Because I don't think I can do any more damage. Yeah. But I think that's it for now. And so, I'll see you guys later.